<laughs> Hi, my name is Ryan. I am the host of Fails Magic Hat on Twitch, and this is my first video on things that are happening that is really pissing me off. Since I started streaming, I've thought about doing straight up YouTube videos. Today, I reached my limit. I've had enough of keeping my opinions to myself. What has me so riled up today? The media attacks on the vaping industry. I just watched the video from Dave over at Dash Vapes, link in the description below, and I am outraged at the continual stream of misinformation and fake news being pumped out to the general public. I have been vaping now for a little over eight years, and I was smoking two packs a day when I switched. I have never been happier or healthier. I have a great lung capacity again, and my own physical symptoms from a genetic nerve disorder, emphasis on genetic, nothing to do with vaping, or cigarettes, right? Those symptoms are severely reduced due to the increased amount of oxygen my body gets through breathing, through clear lungs. Who knew? We're an oxygen-based creature. Who knew we could you know, live better with more of it. But besides that, right, I started out at a high concentration and I have reduced down to three milligrams and occasionally I'll go with a 1.5. David Dash Vapes is a good man for bringing to light the misinformation and I hope he never quits. But this is not the first time that the media has jumped on the hate wagon against vaping. First time I saw warped and fake news, someone had their vape explode in their face. Yes, this is tragic. Was it preventable? Yes, it most certainly was preventable. How, you may ask? Well, had the person been using it correctly and not openly modifying the components inside the device, that never would have happened. Another example is the guy who had his vape ignite in his tight jean pockets, in his tight jeans pocket, caught on CCTV camera in a convenience store. Okay, there are lockouts on the devices. And at the very least, if you don't have a lockout, turn it off before putting it in your pocket. This again is user error. It's not a detriment caused by the vaping industry. A little more recently, Three people in the U.S. using a 50-plus concentrate Nix salt on a sub-ohm RDA while mixing fentanyl in on the deck, being hospitalized, and later dying from the side of, from the effects of it. Is that the vaping industry's fault or the users? Okay, I get it. Make a product, and someone will find a way to misuse it. I've seen hair dryers with warning labels of not to be used while in shower. I guarantee that warning label is there because someone was just that stupid. Does that mean hair dryers should be banned or overly regulated? No, it means people need to be smarter. Do I agree that e-cig products should be restricted from minors? Definitely. But for the millions of people it helps who are adults, and use as directed, don't bear down on us because we aren't killing ourselves with tobacco. Should the composition of e-liquid be monitored and regulated? For sure. Lack of regulation on e-liquids, be it for THC or nicotine, okay? The lack of regulation is why people like Benjamin Camarillo of Amarillo, Texas, wound up in his current situation. It's criminal when people clone other products to make a quick buck and the customers suffer for it. But even that should fall as a responsibility to the dispensary or the vape shop for not checking and maintaining quality control on what products they are selling. Speaking of which, some vape products are actually owned and produced by tobacco companies. And to avoid hassle from them, I'm going to leave their names out of it. Okay, I don't need the hassle. Just know that some vape companies are actually owned by tobacco producers. Okay. On that note, I bought a pod cartridge from one company that I know. 
is owned by a tobacco company itself. Okay, one prepackaged pod of e-liquid. Cracked it open, dripped it onto a benzene acetate strip for testing, which, like, I mean, you use them for fishing. If you're fishing out in the wild, you know, you can dip it in the water, and if it, you know, tests positive for benzene, okay, you know that any fish out of there are going to be toxic, so don't eat them, right? Simple. Smart. Not the worst thing in the world, but put the chemical on there, right? their little e-liquid, and guess what? It came back positive. Okay? Now, I can't say with 100% certainty, but the only reason I can think of that they would put benzene in their e-liquid is because it is one of the cancer-causing ca causing carcinogens of cigarettes. And it is their hope to then end up getting somebody who has been just vaping, never smoked cigarettes, and still getting lung cancer from having the ingestion of the benzene. Right? My, th my thought is, is it's an attempt at a future smear campaign against vaping, and it's horseshit, straight up, okay? Now, smear campaigns happen, okay? It doesn't matter what the industry is, you will find smear campaigns happening, okay? And the vape industry growing as much as it has, causing billions, if not trillions a year in profits tobacco companies, as well as those at the heads of the pharmaceutical arenas, okay? People aren't buying cigarettes, tobacco companies suffer. People aren't getting sick from cigarettes, pharmaceutical companies are suffering, right? And as tobacco and pharmaceutical are the biggest backers for politicians, it's understandable why the politicians are then bearing down and allowing such smear campaigns instead of actually endorsing the healthier choice of their constituents, which would only make them, you know, human, right? And that make them decent human, okay? And they want to discredit the vape industry. They want to do that so that they can keep lining their pockets on other people's misery, suffering, and sickness. So, bottom line, don't believe everything you see in the media, whether you read it, you hear it, or you watch it, okay? Don't believe it. Do your own research, okay? If you have any questions about vaping, your best bet is to go in and talk to the staff at vape shops, okay? And don't just go to one, go to all of them, okay? See who has the best information, the most accurate information, okay? And if you choose to start vaping, Ask them any questions. There is no such thing as a stupid question when you are vaping. Okay? If you're not sure about something, ask. Okay? Best way to do it. Google is a good tool. Right? Can't forget Google. It's everywhere. Right? It's a good tool. But it is exactly that, a tool. Best used in this situation for finding vape shops in your area. Okay? Because Google also feeds media. and Media is tainted. So, like, I mean, the whole debacle with, you know, gentleman in Amarillo, Texas, that Dave sorted out, they twisted his words and cut out most of his interview just to warp it to suit their own agenda. Right? Not cool. That makes it for misinformation and fake news. And I don't agree with it. That pisses me off. Okay? For any, like if you want any follow up or have any other questions, I am live on the air Monday to Friday at 0800 Mountain Standard Time. Link in the description below. And if you found this video to be helpful or you just generally agree with my sentiment on this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below to be notified when more content like this comes out. I am Fail Hat, and remember, you are awesome. Ha! Boom, baby! <laughs>